I am late. I'm late for an important date. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I try to be as consistent as possible, but sometimes life has um, a different plan for that. So, so sorry. I'm going to jump right into it, but you guys know uh, the deal, okay? Please like this video. Please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Please share this with anybody that may need to hear the energies of the week um, and hear the messages that I'm about to say. And I think that's it. Oh, no, I do want to promote something. Um, guys, uh, hopefully I'll have a link down below um, in the description box. But I am going to be doing my yearly readings. Uh, for anybody that's been following me for a long time knows that I do these. They are my favorite readings, guys. They set you up for the year. We go month by month. It's very long, the reading. Um, it depends how many questions you ask, but sometimes it's about an hour. It's face-to-face, one-on-one um via zoom and uh yeah I, i'm offering them and they're amazing and um yeah please book one if you can okay did i say it's for december 11th through 17th the collective this reading for the weekly collective wow <laughs> crazy crazy times guys in my life all right if i did it that's what it is uh so let's see what the week has in store for us using the same decks, I shuffled them obviously. I think it's a different order, but same spread. Okay, so what do we need? All that glitters. Okay, great. So this card, you guys know, you've seen a couple of times, you know that sometimes it has multiple meanings. What's coming through for me intuitively is that um, things are starting to look up. Uh, things are starting to um, look better. Um, and the fact that it's underneath is telling me that we really need to lean more into that, um, into the things that, um, not look better, but feel better, that's for sure, or, um, you know, feel better to the soul, you know, that feels soulful, um, but leaning into, um, the things that light us up, le lean into, the, sh the shiny things, but not in a, you know, not in a negative way, not shiny object syndrome, which could look at, you know, people look at it as, as a negative, but definitely does look like things are looking up, like, especially the, um, I think that's an angel coming through. I'm not really sure. I don't know if you guys could really see it. I can barely see it, honestly, but it's kind of like something coming out from the, you know, from the, from the light, right? Um, and there is no darkness here. So it's basically saying, uh, you know, but you can assume, right, that you're coming from the darkness when there's light, right? Um, am I going off on too much of a tangent here? But <laughs> basically, I'm saying it's like we're coming, you know, it, it feels like we're coming to the other side because all that glitters also means sometimes um, in a more shadowy type way, even though I don't read reversals on this particular deck, is that... Um, you know, not all that glitters is gold, you know, but at, th at this particular junction and what's coming through here, it's saying, yeah, it is gold. <laughs> so go for the gold is basically what it's saying. And that's what we need to do. So we need to find something to light us up because I definitely do feel like there might be some apathy kind of going on here as well. Let's see the action need it says. We have rebel and we have it in the shadow, rejects legitimate authority out of anger, rebels out of peer pressure or fashion. Okay. Um, it's almost like rebelling to rebel. Um, so I will say this, anybody that, so I actually have my, I love the warrior archetype, but I also love the rebel archetype. I'm a little bit of a rebel myself, but basically spirit is just asking you to ask yourself, are you doing it for the right reasons? Are you doing it for genuine reasons? Genuine, do you have genuine intentions? Not just to, um, rebel to rebel or not follow the rules, for example, just to not follow the rules. What is your reasoning behind what you're doing is really what spirit is asking. That's under action needed. And so it's not necessarily just, bleh. <laughs> I can't speak. It's not necessarily saying be a rebel. It's basically saying like, what are your intentions behind being a rebel, right? About rebelling against you know, maybe there's something going on at work where you feel like uh, it goes against your your moral value or you're just, it doesn't sound good, but Spirit is asking you, well, why doesn't it sound good? Why, why, why does it go against your morals? Like just questioning it is really, really what Spirit is asking you to do. So again, it's not bad. You know, these, these shadows and lights, they're not supposed to be bad and good. I sometimes assign a positive and a negative. I think that 
helps a little bit. And then sometimes like soul versus ego kind of deal. Um, and I don't mean to use the word verse. That was actually not, not great to use, but, but you do have both. Okay. And so, um, you know, it's not, but I don't mean to pin it against each other. It's just saying, you know, what's coming up. That's it. You know, these are, like I said earlier, these are about the energies of the week, what's coming up for us and what we have to, you know, work with. Um, and so the spirit is just asking us to really question that. All right. What is the issue? All right. White witch be the light. Okay. So this is about, um, be the light is always about seeing things in a little bit more positive light. You know, we don't do toxic positivity here. So this is not what this is about. So obviously feel your feels all the way. I'm a huge proponent of that. But uh, this is basically saying uh, we might be a little bit more negative. So the fact that it's actually coming against that shadow rebel, I would really, really question why we're doing what we're doing or why we're rebelling or why we're, you know, refusing to do what we're refusing to do. Um and there might be some pessimism, pessim, pessimism. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't speak this morning. I didn't get much sleep last night and you probably already figured that out. But um, yeah, so so this has something to do with a, a pessimism, at, a pessimistic attitude um, or way that we're viewing things that might translate into that rebel card. Um, so that's the issue is that we, we really need to kind of turn it around. So thinking more negatively, I've actually, it's resident, you know, you guys know I get my tidbits every once in a while, but I definitely have been noticing I've been doing more um, uh, catastrophizing thinking, um, thinking about worst case scenarios, getting a little bit negative. And it's funny because I do run more optimistically, at least I feel I do. Um, as far as like my personality goes, you know, who I am as a person, but uh, yeah, I've been seeing some, some negativity roll through. So that could go into um, uh, that action needed card. I'm very curious to see what comes up under challenge, but we might have challenge with that basically this week is what spirit is saying. Come out of the closet. Okay. So, uh, God, these are so close together. So this is about, um, showing our true self, getting her, you know, putting her mask down, um, uh, revealing something to people, uh, revealing something to the world, something like that. So the fact that it's under challenge, makes me feel like we're having issues with that obviously we're having a challenge with that so um definitely you're going to notice challenges in showing who you know people who you really are being authentic um uh being true to yourself um speaking up all of those things are related to come out of the closet the fact that it's next to the you know more pessimistic energy that we're fighting this week that we're we're, we're wrestling this week um, that might be part of it as well. Um, because it, I mean, there's a, a, a lot of reasons why people might be more negative or pessimistic could be, you know, what's going on in the outside world could, you know, could be, um, resentments. It could be, you know, uh, emotions built up. Uh, but sometimes it is because we're not living our authentic truth and we're not, doing the things that we really do want to do. So yeah, that is kind of connected to resentment, right? We there, Resentment is really, can be really, really toxic. And um, you guys know I talk about emotional freedom a lot. That's part of it. Like there's people that walk around with resentment for so long. And it's so, it's such a normal part of the human experience, but we're all about moving forward and trying to, you know, fe feel our feels, you know, and release it. Preventing it would be great as well, um, but you know, this kind of is in that category where it's saying, um, you know, this stops a lot of the heavy emotions that we could, you know, being authentic really prevents a lot of the heavy emotions that we experience is basically what I'm trying to say. So I do see challenges in this area this week. So interesting to see how it manifests for you guys. Oh, and I almost went, um, don't forget guys, I read your comments. I swear I do. And I comment and I usually like them because I appreciate the feedback. But if this stuff resonates with you, let me know. Um, I would love to hear it. Okay, yay, this makes me happy. Change, I think we might have actually got that in the same slot, if I'm not mistaken, maybe last week or maybe for the monthly. To the sea is the flow card because uh, we're just floating on the ocean and we're letting the sea take us. Um, there's a seven, which is always about introspective, you know, uh, reflecting, um, 
uh, letting things go with the flow, alignment, all of those things. So that's the change. So things are gonna feel a little bit easier. So that makes me feel happy as far as like energy goes. I do these readings again to work with the energies and really the whole goal, the bigger picture is alignment and flow. Um, but this is gonna happen a little bit more naturally um, where it feels like things are a little bit more difficult and don't line up well they will start lining up is basically what spirit is trying to say. So that makes me happy. Very, very happy. All right. What do we focus on here? Bully. Interesting. Highlights your tendency to intimidate others, helps you confront the inner fears that bully you. Okay. So this is actually in the light. So I don't think you guys are being bullies. Um, but you know, uh, it, it definitely does feel like, first of all, a couple of things. Number one, um, Something tells me we might be intimidating somebody. Um, kind of specific, but uh, there are people, because it's funny, because I'm getting like this energy of like, there. there's people out there that maybe I do want to say like envy you or, um, yeah, I mean, envy is a good word. Envy or um, admire or, um, you know, those are very, those are two kind of very different things, but um Somebody, I, I, I'm going to say somebody's watching you. I don't mean to make it stalkerish or, or anything like that, but people are, are, are watching you. Like, um, because also the other thing with this bully is like, you're not being kind to yourself and you're not seeing like how far you've come or how amazing you are or something along those lines, but people are watching. Other people can see that. Right. And so, um, other people, it might manifest, somebody that's envious of you might might have more of like a bully type attitude towards you. Um, but it really just means about like beating ourselves up. But really other people are like, oh my gosh, like if the other people were to know that they would be shocked or, um, I actually saw just really quick an example uh, yesterday, uh, not yesterday, maybe, I don't know, maybe a few days ago. Uh, I was watching an interview with the celebrity and I, I was very, very shocking to hear because they seem like so confident, you know, about their insecurities. And, and again, nothing wrong with that, but this would match really well with that person's energy because, uh, you know, people would look at them and they would say, oh my God, what a great actor, you know, what a, what an articulate speaker, um, you know, what a great storyteller. And this person has all of these insecurities and they're beating themselves up on the inside. So you really never know what people are kind of going through. So I do want to say like, I, this is a little specific, but it's coming up and you guys know that I'm always committed to just telling you what comes up, um, is there this person might present themselves to you in some type of way like they might become a parent or it might become obvious that you do have somebody that's watching you parents out there if you guys are parents watching this this could be your kids this could be a moment with your kids this week where it just feels like um you know maybe you, you feel like you're not doing enough i'm sure i'm not a parent but um i'm sure people out there feel like most parents feel like they're not doing enough and we beat ourselves up. And so God bless you guys. I don't know how you do it, but, um, hardest job in the world, right? I'm sure you guys would agree. Um, and, uh, yeah, you get like some type of, I guess the word is recognition, you know, some type of recognition there. So, um, yeah, there's not too much more I can kind of say about that. Reflect. We have warrior. Well, 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 it's my favorite archetype and we got it last week so uh i'm pretty sure we got it last week my memory is not great but we need to reflect on how we're being a warrior basically plain and simple you guys know what warrior is survivor to thriver um becoming the warrior be conquering you know what we thought that we couldn't conquer i love it that it's coming up in december um because it's really because december does have this vibe of uh this energy of the accumulation of the year basically we are moving into a new numerology calendar year so it makes sense um in that aspect so we're really kind of and the fact that it's under reflect makes sense how were we a warrior this year how did we conquer what we thought that we couldn't conquer okay and i know out there you guys are seeing 555 222 i am as well those are really the two angel numbers of change it's coming i swear just wait for the new year. Um, so the change is coming, but Spirit is asking us to reflect right now. 
Okay, responsibilities. See the other person's point of view. Did we not have this in responsibilities before? We may have had it under important, but th obviously this is something that Spirit still wants us to know about. See the other person's point of view. It is so, 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 so important to do that. I have been noticing I've been, I've been moving in that direction. Even though I feel like I'm a pretty decent, aware person, you know, that really tries to see other people's perspectives, I, uh, there's always room for growth and there's always blind spots. So I have been working on that myself. And so I've been kind of noticing that. So that makes sense for me. So it's under responsibilities. It's saying, guys, don't forget to look, you know, look at other people. My example is I've been pretty, uh, you know, I, I underlying from a soul level, I feel like I'm a non-judgmental person, but family stuff and, you know, uh, you know, I've been kind of like trying to unpack that and uh, yeah, I'm pretty judgmental. <laughs> and uh, with that being said, you know, if you look at, you know, all relationships are a mirror and uh, I'm always kind of afraid other people are judging me, right? It's because I'm judging them. So anyway, that's a little bit of my, my shadow work kind of coming out there. But basically, uh, Spirit is asking us to really try to see the other person's point of view. It will come in handy this week is basically what it's saying. All right, money, fan, finances, and career, yin. Okay, so um, I'm not surprised, guys. Yin is um, feminine energy, yin to the yang. The yang is masculine. Um, we've been getting a lot of higher, I believe last week was higher power. Um, I believe the week before is like, you know, there's not, basically the, the, the message is there's not too much you can do. You got to let go, let God kind of situation because that's kind of what the feminine energy is. It's kind of the receiving, like you just have to receive, like it's not an ambitious time. We, weeks ago, there was, I think it was actually in November where there was maybe like a week of some like hint of ambitious energy. I think that, you know, now I'm going through the weeks, I think that was a foreshadow for the new year. So I think it's okay to rest because we did get a lot of rest cards after that. You know, take the time. Things aren't supposed to be changing necessarily right now. The only thing changing is the flow of things. So, and flow and alignment is feminine energy. Um, and uh, yeah, so basically it's just saying, let go, let God. There's not like too much that you can do here. Um, everything is gonna be okay everything is going to be okay. Um, I don't necessarily see it. Like I, I really do feel like everything is going to kind of start to accumulate and begin in the, in the new year in, in the new numerology calendar year. Um, so I don't necessarily, I'm just going to say this because it's coming up people getting any new jobs right now. Um, or, and if you are, you won't be starting until the new year makes sense. Holidays, that kind of thing. Um, so there's not too much that you can do. So if you're beating yourself up, because we got that bully card here, um, if you're beating yourself up for maybe not getting the new job or still feeling stuck or still being in the same place, you're right where you're supposed to be because there's not too much going on. You gotta just trust that things will work itself out. Worry about all that stuff in the new year. Okay, surprise. Can we handle any surprises here? <laughs> Okay, we have athlete. Interesting, after what I just said. Dedication to transcending physical limits, including handicaps, development of personal willpower and strength of spirit. Okay, so this is always about um, pushing past boundaries, um, willpower. So this does have a little bit of ambitious energy after what I just said, so that's interesting. Well, come under, under surprise because I'm surprised. So uh, I think in the last few weeks, I, you know, the, the surprise cards I've been pulling, I haven't been surprised, but now I am because there is a little bit of, um, uh, willpower, uh, willing to kind of go the distance, even though it's not the code, go the distance card, but it is in that archetype of the athlete. So what I will say is that I personally don't feel like it has anything to do with money, finances, and career. So this could be, um, dealing with our relationships or other areas of our life, because again, this is kind of really contrasting here. So, um, there is a little bit of ambition, maybe, you know, maybe you do feel like you can't move forward and work and that you want to focus a little bit more on your relationships or that kind of thing. And that's where the stamina kind of comes in. It's like, okay, let me, let me work on the, let me work on this area of my life, or maybe it is personal development and let me just work on myself, like that kind of thing. So I definitely, there is a hint of, you know, ambitious energy, which is a surprise this week, but again, it doesn't feel like it's pertaining to career of money and finances. Well, let's see, you know, I mentioned relationships, so let's see what's going on here. 
Okay, we have Ear Guardian, shift your perception. Okay, so now I know why this is coming up. This is the other person's point of view. It's more specific to friends because we, you know, your friend group it says shift your perception. Um, there's something kind of going on with our group of friends where, uh, and this is a little specific too, but there might be something in going on friend group wise where it's really dire, it's really important to see the other person's point of view. Like I'm almost getting like, um, to really prevent like a big fight or something chaotic or something like that. Like we, it's really important that we shift our perception around how we relate to our friend group or um, how we um, communicate with them, you know, anything along those lines. So definitely super important, not only seeing the other person's point of view, but shifting your perception on how you see them. Okay, which is similar. Okay, romantic connection, what do we got going on? Oh, mother, wife, sister, daughter. Okay, so we have more feminine energy, but we have it a little bit more, um, not so much in the being versus doing, which I really felt for the money, finances, and career. This is more so in the romantic sense. It is under romantic connection, meaning that um, really tapping into our feminine energy when it comes to our um, romantic connections. So I know um, I know not everybody is in a relationship, but I, I will say this, you know, for single people as well, it's important to tap into this energy of, and yes, receiving is both the feminine energy here. Um, so being open to receive and really kind of relying on that feminine energy while you're dating. And again, guys, this doesn't mean gender, okay? We're talking energy here. So um, however you can kind of tap into that, it'll be in your favor this week is basically what Spirit is saying. All right, what's important? Many things are important, right? Okay, Treasure Island is about um, finding the treasure and the nine is really jumping out to me. Thank God for a nine. I've been really looking, I've been seeing 909 like forever. No, not forever, I'm lying. Um, it, it feels like forever because I'm seeing it every day, everywhere, license plates, time, that kind of thing. Um, uh, time stamps on YouTube videos, everything. Um, and uh, it means endings, right? It, it means more humanitarian work as well. I know we're during the we're in the holiday season, so a lot of people do feel charity, you know, doing more uh, philanthropic projects, things like that. Um, but really the nine is sticking out to me for an ending. And then the fact that it's under Treasure Island with Treasure Island is saying that there's a treasure at the end of this awful, awful, maybe it wasn't awful for you guys. Maybe I'm projecting a little bit, but <laughs> year. <laughs> so, um, and I know we're not at the end of the year. This is not the end of the week reading, um, you know, going into the new year, but it does, it, you know, it's just another reminder for us that, yeah, things are coming to an end. Things are going to change. Um, just be patient and there will be treasure at the end of it. So amazing. I could use some treasure. Health and wellness, trickster, transcending convention, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Okay, so this is about sometimes like breaking out of a routine, being more silly. So this is saying, you know, the sillier the better. Uh, this is saying laugh, right? The trickster is always about making jokes, um, not being stuffy about things, you know, having a little bit more of a sense of humor. And that looks like what we need for our health and wellness. Like, let's laugh, guys. And I wasn't, I had another huge healing journey 10 years ago. Was it 10 years ago? Yeah, it was 10 years ago in 2013. And um, man, did I not laugh for like two years. And when I, when I say I genuinely did not laugh for a long, long time, I don't know if it was two years exactly, maybe a year and a half or something. I was not laughing, okay? And I was definitely not laughing, um, maybe not a year and a half during this healing journey, but a long, long time. And uh, this it's just the simple things, man. Simple cat videos, cats doing really funny, silly things. We can learn a lot from animals. I think most of you guys know that as empaths. But um, just laughing, it's, it's medicine, you know? And um, 
that's what we need really this week. So don't forget to, you know, make time for that. It's important. You know, comedians are doing, you know, if you look at it, comedians are also doing God's work. Okay. Maybe they're not, you know, uh, you know, saving people's lives or, um, you know, directly, but you know, there's a reason why, uh, 